so to quickly summarize uh, what we discussed so far like so on the first day we discussed about the scala in, uh, spark introduction and the differences between spark and hadoop and compare the performance and the coding efforts for spark and MapReduce code and then we have seen one example for spark sql and hive as well so and yesterday we started with basic scala we talked about the scala features and why we need to go for scala and some of the salient features of the scala uh, just the listing down these feature names but we didn't talk much anything about it okay and uh, so installing Scala on both on your Windows and as well as Linux boxes, we have seen that. Okay. So once we install that, um, we just saw um, execution of 10 plus 20 or something like basic commands. Okay. So that is shell execution. What if uh, you want to write your Scala code into your file and from there you want to compile it and execute it okay so that Scala shell some people call it as a Scala interpreter I mean it can be called as interpreter but even uh, but in the back end it is not acts like an interpreter it is a compile based language only so whether you are aware of it or not, not sure. So interpreter based languages means, so like for example, uh, any Perl scripts, all these uh, scripting kind of languages, most of the times they will be interpreter based. Meaning whenever you submit any, lang uh, any statement, uh, if you write one line of code that will get submitted to the executor and on the fly that will execute and it will show a result okay so that those are called as um, interpreter based languages but compile based languages are like RC, C++, Java and even the Scala so Scala is whenever you submit any Scala code so ideally we, we submit through writing into a file and to execute that it gets first compiled and then that byte code will be submitted to JVM and results will be thrown back to us right so that is compiled based behavior but in Scala shell you almost feel it like this is a interpreter based language because whenever you submit every one line of Scala code so that will get executed and uh, uh, if it is having any results it will show, you, show us back but in the back end each of those lines will be written into a Scala object and that will get compiled and the results will be shown from that bytecode execution okay so that's the difference between the compile based and uh, uh, interpreter based languages so Scala is a completely compiled based language only and but it resembles like interpreter based language when you are able to run that through the in uh, your Scala shell okay so for now uh, to show the simple uh, example so I will write very basic hello world example same as like uh, uh, Java hello worlds okay so for now uh, let's not worry about this first line so this, we are creating an object hello world which is extending another 
class or trait uh, in scalar terminology we call it as traits uh, this thing this is an interface so let's not worry about this so take it as like public static void main in the uh, java java program okay so in order to play anything or execute anything so you need this bare minimum template in the, if you have to write it through a program file okay first you code this first line and inside this curly braces of your class you can write any of your executable code so just to print hello world i have to write this into a dot scala program file and unlike your java there is no mandatory rule that your object name should be exactly matching your file name okay so i most of the times i try to compare it with java concepts uh, whoever are coming from non java background it is very even more easier for you coming from java background they, there will be some confusions because some of the java standards will get over overridden or overruled in scala that's why you guys will get confused for coming i mean for whoever are coming from non java background you don't even need to consider all those differences at all okay so whatever the syntax that you get from scala take it as granted and anyway there will not be any confusions okay so uh, let's say if you have this uh, hello world dot scala program and the command to compile this same as in java in java we have if you remember if you are from java any language like we have java c command and program name okay l1 dot java was the command to compile your java program and to execute it so after compilation of file1.java you will see file1.class file being generated okay in case of um dot class file you don't need to give the dot class extension also for executing this java space file one is sufficient to execute that the same commands scala c your hello world dot scala is the command to compile your scala code the same as scala space hello world is enough to execute it okay let me remove this compiled yeah this is it's a similar it's corresponding java code in java code we need to write everything into a class right class class name given a class name and define a public static void main method so assume similar to these two lines here in scala we have this first line so instead of class we could even write directly the object and object the object name is given extending this and print ln this one and here i call system dot out dot print ln you have to see this so i'm starting with very basic so you can stop me anywhere i mean uh if you're not getting it okay. where do you save these files do, do we don't have to give the complete path so i save for simplicity i i gave it i gave them in my home directory okay. that is user directory that's in linux system right 
No, no. I am showing it from my uh, Windows OS itself. Since I am talking about the programming languages, Java and Scala, so these mm -hmm. will be same both in your Linux and as well as your Windows. Okay. At least till the end of your Scala practice sessions, you can utilize your Windows OS itself. Afterwards, like we should be completely on uh, Linux, is it? Uh, I mean, uh, afterwards, completely meaning yes. Uh, so that you will be uh, pretty hands on in both the environments, right? So that is my plan. Okay. Okay. So just compile this uh, Java code and then to execute this. So it printed hello world, that's it. So just three lines of code. And the same thing, the Scala code that I, that I have written there, hello world. See, when I compiled hello.java, it generated hello.class file. And when I compiled this hello world.scala, it created hello world dollar dot class and hello world dot class. There are some um, few fundamental theoretical concepts. Uh, at this moment, it might be confusing you. You might not catch this up. The only thing that you have to catch up is uh, right now, hello world dot scala. If you compile dot scala program, it will generate its corresponding dot class files. Okay. It may not be always exactly the class, uh, the file name or the object name. It might have the dollar also an extra dot class file being generated. And why the dollar dot class file along with the dot class? I mean, from Java nature, if you observe, if it would have generated only hello world dot class, you would not be surprised. You are able to see this dollar dot class also. Okay? We'll see uh, why uh, we'll discuss this sometime later. Okay? So, here my intention is that. Here the dot class for dot java files to dot classes will generate it and here dot scala to dot class files will generate it after compilation. And giving that and uh, giving that main class uh, is sufficient for your execution. No such thing. Tipco related software I installed on my machine so that overridden the, the existing class path environment variables okay in your case also uh Mamta, same i'm still getting the same error i said the environment variable both path and class path oh i just set it for only class path okay uh set it for paths to yep bin folder where your scala command is available that bin folder should be available in your path environment variable uh, generally, most uh, Windows 10 onwards, it should be able to take care uh, at least the path the environment variable, if not class path. Okay, so this directory, I mean, I installed it. It got installed into program files, Scala and Bing. Okay, this is the one that I added. I mean, it got added automatically to uh, this thing. All this got added into the path environment variable. In case if you had uh, any class path issues, yes, you can uh, check this. And you can you can write into any of the uh, your folders. Only thing is wherever those dot class files will get generated, that folder path you have to give it. Uh, into your class path directories. So otherwise, 
it will not be able to pick that up there. So the same error which I got initially, so that one you will get it. Okay. So this is through writing into a .scala file and compiling it and executing it. 